So when was the last meal you and your children ate? Maybe dinner tonight? It might sound like a silly question, but thousands of children right here in North Texas go to bed hungry. Their last meal was the lunch they had at school. This month, we're partnering with the American Heart Association, and Sonia Azad shows us how we can all help feed the need. A lot of hands go into making one special meal. It's nothing fancy, but it is fresh and healthy. I got apples and applesauce, a apple, a sandwich with cheese and ham, and a raisin cookie. Vincent gets his little hands on this meal thanks to Hunger Busters, a nonprofit based in West Dallas. Their focus is to provide free after-school meals for elementary and middle school students in Dallas ISD. The majority of our students are um, under the poverty level. Ruth Roman Mesa is principal at John H. Reagan Elementary, which is in the middle of Bishop Arts, a booming neighborhood. Still, most of their students are on free or reduced lunch. When students are worried about, you know, or thinking about what they're going to eat or if they're hungry, then you know they're not able to concentrate on what we want them to concentrate, you know, maybe doing their homework or being kids and having fun instead of having to worry about that. You may not believe this, but 87% of students in Dallas ISD are food insecure, meaning they either haven't gotten dinner or meals over the weekend. So they'll go from lunch, 10.30, 11 a.m., without eating another meal until breakfast the next day. We haven't been able to eat in the, like, not ready in the afternoon, not dinner. And that is heartbreaking. Cut those little suckers in half, you'll start an assembly line to make 2,037 meals for Friday delivery. Which is where that army of help really counts, from bread donated by Eatsies to fresh fruits and vegetables to the countless people who put it all together. $1.60 per day, per child, and it is fresh, made the day prior, kept in a freezer, and then sent out. Right now, Hunger Busters delivers to 11 DISD schools five days a week, and they do it with only three staff members. The rest are volunteers. Their meals feed 2,000 kids every day. What's the goal? The goal is 14,000 a day. That's 10% of the individuals that are deemed food insecure. To do that, CEO Trey Hubler needs an extra $250,000 per year. That doesn't sound like a lot to me. No, it's not. <laughs> Especially when you consider the stories. There's really nothing in the, in the fridge. And the little hands on the receiving end of this simple service. De nada. There's so many inconsistencies in their lives, so many insecurities in their lives. To know that this is something I can count on, it provides that security, that there will be something healthy um, that they will be able to have at home. In Dallas, I'm Sonia Azad. I applaud everyone backing this program. And if you want to help, Hunger Busters needs donations and volunteers. And tomorrow is North Texas Giving Day. Perfect time. A fast and easy way to support them. Just search Hunger Busters on the website. You just hit click to give.